Okay, um, I was having some issues here with my M Audio Fast Track C600 because I couldn't figure out how to control my um, my Logic Express with um, with its transport. It has beautiful transport buttons and a multi-function button, and I couldn't figure out how to use it. But then, um, and the documentation didn't really show too well either. So um, I would did some exploring, and uh, I found out exactly how to do it. And I'm going to show you today how to be able to get the play to work here, mm -hmm. and the rewind, and the fast forward, and the stop, and go back to the beginning, and even to record. Okay. So um, basically, when you install the uh, the CD that comes with the driver CD that comes with the Fast Track Six C Six Hundred. It installs also in your applications folder the M Audio Fast Track uh, control panel. So you go to the control panel here, and there's a there's a whole bunch of beautiful things. You'll see the input levels so that you can actually do some uh, monitoring without using your DAW. Um, it, it, so it's really nice. But uh, later on, I'll probably do a little bit of a tutorial on that. But we'll see. Right here on the panel, you go over here to setup, and basically you come over here to multi-button settings, and voila! Here are all the buttons and um, the assignability, which you can do with with uh, Fast Track Six C Six Hundred. Okay, so I've already set up everything here, but I'm gonna go walk through it a little bit. All of this was set up to Pro Tools. It, it's already uh, it comes pre-set up to work with Pro Tools since the Pro Tools uh, CD, Pro Tools SE comes with uh, the C600. But in order to um, work with it, I know, for example, that to go to rewind on the uh, to rewind on the um, on Pro on Logic. <laughs> sorry, to rewind on Logic is uh, the left arrow here or the comma button. So basically. Um, you click here and if you use like shift the control or anything like that or the command button um, and then you got all the keyboard buttons here all the different keyboard buttons and I selected as you can see here the comma button and then this set this usually says Pro Tools Rewind or something like that but I renamed it to Rewind and then you go ahead and do the same thing for fast forward I do the same thing for the stop and for play which is simply spacebar and for record I usually press R and uh, you can select that to be record now my multifunction it was doing some weird things with logic it was doing the page up and page down which as you know it uh, changes your screen so I was having trouble with the molten button but now that I can see here um, I can do all kinds of selections so the first selection I, I wanted was uh, the shift B is how I have my uh, assignment for go back to the beginning of the uh, score or of the um, of the tracks so uh, you can do all kinds of things so this is simply what you can have okay so I close this and I save it save my panel and you can save your panel as Logic Express okay and I would assume that um, but you know they say never to assume but I would imagine that you can go to lot uh, to your uh, Ableton Live like I have and set up a whole new panel and then load up the Ableton Live. I haven't tried that. Um, I will be trying that in the future and perhaps I'll let you know how that works. Or you can just try it and put your comments below if you've tried it. But it really it works really well. That means I can use my BR880 and do it without having to use um, Logic. I can just listen to it monitoring and see if everything works. I can also uh, put a re an effect on it. Um, I usually don't have to do that since I have outboard effects, but uh, that's that's all there is to it. Enjoy. <laughs> 